What's going on, everybody? I can't believe we're already here, but the 2022 NHL season is upon us, and I'm so excited to get back into hockey. I'm especially excited to see how the league pans out this season with so many new faces on so many new teams. I hope everybody had an awesome summer, but now it's time to put our game faces on and prepare for the upcoming fantasy hockey season. Before we jump into this video, make sure you check out the video description. We have so much content to look forward to, so make sure you hop in our Discord, check out our website, and toss us a follow on Twitter to make sure you're fully prepared for this upcoming season. Player of the Day is back, and for those who are new to the channel, I will give you a random stat that's associated with the player, and in the comment section below, it is your job to figure out who that player is. The random stat today is, in the 2020-2021 NHL season, this player was a scoring chances machine, leading the league with 200 individual scoring chances for, 56 more than the player behind him. Who is this player? Leave your answers in the comment section below, and now, let's jump into the video. What better way is there to start off the season than a list of sleepers? To start off our sleepers list, we have Sam Bennett of the Florida Panthers. Bennett saw a resurgence in his career last season after getting traded to Florida at the deadline. The former 4th overall pick benefited from a change in playstyle with way more opportunity. Bennett slid into a top 6 role playing alongside one of Florida's top players, Jonathan Huberdeau. After posting a measly 12 points in 38 games at Calgary, Bennett scored 6 goals and 15 points in just 10 games with Florida. Bear with me while I go through what changed in Bennett's game that made him this productive. His move to the top 6 opened the door to more minutes going from just 13-28 in Calgary to over 18 minutes a night in Florida. Along with that, Bennett's shot rate surged from 1.76 shots per game in Calgary to 3.9 shots per game in Florida. Bennett's hits per game also rose from 2.07 per game to 2.9 per game. With Florida making some big moves this offseason, it's obvious that Bennett is going to have plenty of help around him to continue where he left off last season. On ESPN, Bennett is currently ranked 195, and on Yahoo, his ADP is 110. Up next, we have the almost forgotten about first overall pick, Jack Hughes. Hughes had a surprisingly strong season given the struggles of the Devils last season. In 56 games, he scored 11 goals and 31 points, adding 7 power play points and 142 shots. Hughes was the beneficiary of a Nico Heischer injury, opening the door for him to play on the top line and top power play unit for most of the season. His minutes increased significantly to over 19 per night from 15.52 the season prior. The 20-year-old is entering his third NHL season and don't count the Devils out this year. With an older, more experienced core and the off-season additions of Dougie Hamilton, Thomas Tatar, and Ryan Graves, the Devils are going to be a lot better than people are giving them credit for. Hughes had no trouble generating chances 5-on-5 last season. He ranked 23rd for individual expected goals for, 21st for individual scoring chances for, and 21st for individual Corsi for. For a 19-year-old on a well below average offensive team, these numbers are impressive. This could very well be Hughes' breakout season, and you don't have to reach too far in your draft for him. On ESPN, he's currently ranked 238, and on Yahoo, his ADP is 147. The next sleeper on our list is Connor Garland of the Vancouver Canucks. After an atrocious season for the Canucks, we anticipate a huge bounce back for the entire team this year. The acquisition of Garland in the offseason should pay dividends, and for fantasy owners, you can now draft him and know that he'll actually have solid line mates alongside him. Garland was one of our favorite waiver wire acquisitions last year, as he had a strong offensive showing in Arizona, a team who struggled to generate offense. In 49 games last season, Garland had 12 goals, 39 points, with 10 points in the power play and adding 135 shots. In a full 82-game season, Garland was on pace for 65 points, smashing his career high of just 39. He saw a significant uptick in minutes last season to 17.55 from just over 14 minutes the year prior. His shots per game increased to 2.76 per game from 2.32 per game, and if he can continue to shoot the puck at the rate we saw last season, he's poised to have a 30-goal season this year. We can assume Garland will instantly step into a top 6 role in Vancouver, giving him plenty of opportunity to succeed on a strong offensive team with players up front like Bo Horvat, Elias Pedersen, and Brock Besser. Oh, and let's not forget about Quinn Hughes who thrives on generating offense. This year could be huge for Garland. You don't have to reach that far at all in your draft form too. On ESPN, Garland is ranked 180 and on Yahoo his ADP is at 175. Moving on to the next player, we have Miro Heiskanen of the Dallas Stars. 
The former third overall pick is entering his fourth season with the Stars and is looking to bounce back from a disappointing 22 season. Dallas had a delayed start to the season following a COVID-19 outbreak. Many players, including Heiskanen, were unable to practice for multiple weeks. But Heiskanen having a slow 2020 season means that people are going to be sleeping on him this year. Last year, Heiskanen scored 8 goals and 27 points in 55 games, adding 11 power play points and 121 shots. The 21-year-old ranks 6th in time on ice for defensemen, 8th for individual expected goals for, and 4th for individual scoring chances for over the last two seasons. If Dallas can find their form again with a healthy lineup, Heiskanen should be in line to rack up points this season, and could potentially take over the number one role in the back end ahead of John Klimberg. Heiskanen is one of the top young defenders in the game right now, but is going completely overlooked because of the success we're seeing from Hughes and Makar. On ESPN, he's currently ranked 160, and on Yahoo, his ADP is 83. The final sleeper on this list is Carter Hart of the Philadelphia Flyers. I was extremely high on Hart last season, but he disappointed beyond anyone's expectations. Luckily for fantasy owners this year, many people are going to be off of him, giving us a huge opportunity to draft him much later than he should be going. Hart had a strong 2019 season with a 24-13-3 record, a 9-14 save percentage, and a 242 goals against average. These numbers are exceptional for a 21-year-old goalie in only his second NHL season. Unfortunately, he followed this up with a disappointing 9-11-5 record, an 877 save percentage, and a 367 goals against average. It's easy to blame the goaltender when they post stats like these, but as we dig a little bit deeper, we can pass some of the blame on Philly's lack of defense. The Flyers' penalty kill struggled immensely last season, allowing 45 goals, which ranks first in the NHL. This offseason, the Flyers addressed this problem, acquiring Rasmus Ristolainen and Ryan Ellis, two established defensive defensemen that should bolster their roster. I expect the Flyers to have a strong season this year, and Hart's going to be the clear number one goaltender, giving him a ton of opportunity to rack up wins. On ESPN, he's outside of the top 300, and on Yahoo, his ADP is 137. That'll do it for our first sleepers video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. As the Fantasy Puck community prepares you for the upcoming season, make sure you click the link in our description and check out all of our content channels to ensure that you're fully prepared for this upcoming season. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.